Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm Leon. In this video, I'm going to be going over how to download and install mods for Tekken 8. This only works for PC and specifically the Steam installation. There are two websites that you can get mods from. One is going to be nexusmods.com. The other one is going to be tekkenmods.com. I'm going to put both of these in the description box. The mod I'm going to be installing is going to be the Tekken 8 trailer announcer mod. That includes the voice of Lena Hart. She's a professional uh, announcer for Japanese wrestling. And she has a very iconic voice. So what you do is you just download the mod. It's going to appear in an archive file. Then basically what you're going to do is you're going to put that archive file into the mods folder. So where you have to go you have to find your steam installation so if it's either on your hard drive or, or external hard drive you're going to find the steam folder you're going to go to steam apps common tekken 8 polaris content and then the packs folder and in the packs folder you're going to need to create a new folder called tilled mods so tilled is going to be the symbol that's right next to the exclamation point on your keyboard so it's tilled mods and then from there you're going to put the individual .pak files. Those .pak files are actually archive files themselves. But what but what's going on is that those files will update um, the game files. So essentially whatever is happening with the mods, it's going to load in those files first and override the original game files. What's great about that is that you can uninstall and install mods this way very easily. So to install them you put them in the folder to uninstall them you just take them out the folder and you'll notice that I, I left in the zip file uh, I did that because it doesn't affect anything to leave it in there and the reason why is because there are some instances where depending on what the mod is there are a lot of different files and sometimes it's gonna be kinda difficult to know exactly what you have installed I recommend that you keep track of what you're installing and install one mod at a time because if something doesn't work then you need to understand why so again it's going to be steam steam apps common tekken 8 polaris content packs and you're going to create a tilled mods folder and you're going to put the dot pak files in there then from there just go ahead and launch the game so i'm going to actually go ahead and play a match real quick with the computer and I go to the character select screen and you'll hear the updated announcer voice. So I'll play against the CPU. I'll play up with Oscar Swana. And you, and you heard her voice. So whenever you select a fighter, you will hear her go over the voice. So I'll pick Devil Jin. Devil <laughs> Jin! And she also replaces some of the, the fight noises as well, such as fight and you win and some of the, other the next battle. So you see, it actually works. Es hora de entrar. Aquí viene el espectáculo de su cena. Naraka no sokuyo chinai. Get ready. Get ready. 
that's it. Um, so basically, again, that's all you have to do. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I'm gonna put the the uh, the links to Nexus Mods and TekkenMods.com to the, in the description box. You have a blessed day, and you take care.